Hello everyone, welcome to this very special video where we're going to be dissecting the British e-racing national championships and first up we've got the elimination race and as ever the resident expert on Zwift is Tim Fulford. Resident. Hi Chris. Resident. You alright? Yeah, let's go. Good. Play that stuff. So, explain to us exactly what is happening right now. So this is the start of the race. We had 10 people in the uh, okay. British Championships, Zwift e-racing championships um championships. they had to qualify figure of eight top 10 go to bt sport first race elimination race the guardia five laps four eliminations and it went off didn't it so so if, if you're if you're from a track background uh, the elimination is also called devil take the hindmost did you know that tim i did yes Thank there you, you go. One, so basically, whoever comes over the finish line last is out. But on this time, they're taking two riders out each lap. That's right, isn't it? Yes. Right. So eventually, we'll just whittle it down to two, and then they'll sprint it out. Um, so because there's only 10 riders in it, do you think the dynamic would have been slightly different if there was more riders in it? How, how, how do you think it went? I think the dynamic would have been more complicated if there had more riders in it. 10 was probably about manageable. Um, mm -hmm. And if we just pause it here, we can just quickly run down the runners and riders. Um, okay. Obviously, Madison Genesis Heavy, uh, but also Dempster, who was riding for draft. Um, the Jeff and uh, the Lav riding for Wahoo Cycling Hub. And mm -hmm. then um, Canyons, James Phillips and the Python, Steve Young and Kim for the All-Stars. So they're all very well known. Everyone knows everybody. So there was... Not really any um, surprises early doors, I don't think. Can I ask, how did uh, Steve get his nickname, the Python? Um, because I had not going to do it, but he would do a celebration <laughs> at the end. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I, I think it was at, at, it was at CVR home. World Cup and he started kissing his biceps. Um, well, you know when they do the green screen for like football and you turn around and then look at the screen? Yeah. He did that and then he did the whole bicep ki kissing thing and... Um, I think it was Chris Haskell, the the commentator, that that, that gave him the pythons. And wow. obviously, Steve being Steve, he really enjoyed that. So he ran, he ran with it. He ran with it and, and made his own hat with the python on. <laughs> yes, oh, it's did. cool. I'm I'm not I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying. So uh, we're looking at Kim Little here. Kim was the reigning national champion, right? Yeah, Kim. I mean, everyone I think expected a lot from Kim. Uh, because he was the reigning national champion. But realistically, mm -hmm. it's a completely different race. Um, yeah. He won it in the same format of the qualifier, which was two laps of um, the figure eight course with a downhill sprint. Now you're putting mm -hmm. him in an elimination, a points race and a, and a scratch race. So people might think he would be the favorite to retain his title, but completely different ball game. Here yeah, we go. This is, this is the first move. Here is the hero that is Ed Lavrak, and he's thought, I'm about 63 kilos. I can't get over a 1,000 watts. How on earth am I going to do all these people in a sprint? And he thought, well, let's not bother. He can't. So what he said was, well, let's just walk away with it. Yeah, which which he said, I spoke to him at the start of the, the, the event. Oh, was that a pencil? So... As you can see <laughs> over here, Ed. <laughs> so for everyone out there, Chris didn't know I was going to do that. But if I'm going to be a Zwift expert, I've got to have the tools. Um, Ed has just done exactly what you need to do. He's just gone off the front and he's just gone, right, I need to, I need to smash that um, to break yeah. the draft. So he's put it into orange numbers. Kim has thought about following him. Tom has... Um, thought about it as well but as we'll see um, he's he's managed to get a gap he has got a gap a couple of seconds um, I spoke to Ed at the start of this and he, this is exactly what he said he was going to do because none of these none of these tracks and courses suited him one bit did they really when you look at the other guys like you look at Cam you look at um Bibby, Moldy, all sprinters. Dempster, he's more of a he was a he's a big unit, that guy to say to say he was looking to be more suited to a climbing 
the stage. But look at that graph there. Red. Yeah, he's not hanging about really, is he? No. And this was the only thing you could do. He's got five seconds there. But so how how different is the double draft when there's ten riders? Is is it is a well, rider I don't think I don't know if this? there are if there was double draft in the elimination race. There was in the scratch, but because they're individual events, I'm not sure if they did them for all of it. And and in the venue at the time, they weren't quite sure either. But if we look at it here, you've got just over 300 meters maybe to the line, and he's got five seconds. But the problem yeah. is, you've got five people with orange orange numbers. All sprinting to make sure they're not the last rider. All sprinting to make sure they're not the last rider. And Ed's already put in a couple of minutes a couple uh, yeah. in the red zone. So heart rate is 185. People coming at over 12 watts per kilo. Um, it's not looking good and, unfor <laughs> and unfortunately, we all know what happens here. Um, and if you don't, um, the hero that is yeah. Ed Laverack. Yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's just been called there. He is. The so... I've paused it here, and I've paused it here for a reason. Um, you've got Ed here. No, that is that Ed. No, is yeah. That Ed? Oh yeah, sorry. Ed. That's Ed, and then Steve Young is about here. The Python. Right. The Python has been. Can you not draw a Python there, please? <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you also look, you've got um, Gav Dempster. But equally, mm -hmm. look how close Ian Bibby was. Yep. to being kicked out in the first round. So if if if, um, if Ed's little attack had worked, you would have seen Youngie go out and Bibby in the first round. Yeah, which which, been which huge. you'd think in two sprint things would be massive. Yeah. So I'm just going to clear those off now because we don't we don't need them everywhere. And people obviously using um, arrows there as well and power ups. Yeah, and and I think you've got to understand the course as much as anything. There is that little kicker beforehand, um, which mm -hmm. comes into play later in the race, but it's actually a bit of a downhill sprint. So you need to be holding speed up and over the top of the hill, but then kick where you're going to get the most out of Zwift, which is downhill, um, down onto the flat. And I mm -hmm. think that's can something I, can, that, can, that can, can manage to sort of learn quite quickly is where you apply the pressure. Yeah, just to interrupt you a little bit, did you did you see after you unpaused it and played it again, how quickly Bibby went from where he was? Oh, he's out. <laughs> we can go back if, if you'd yeah. like. Yeah, let's Chris. go back a little bit. Um, so just go back a tiny bit. There you go. Watch how quick Bibby goes from being potentially that last rider or the second to last rider to then actually being near the front of the front of the pack. So Within there's seconds. Bibby just overtaking there. And then he yeah, comes all then, the way through here. Yeah, that's how kind of how badly timed it was as well. Yeah, so so he just timed it late, and this is where he is now. Yeah, um, which is not good for anyone really, because now he's he's going to be forced to sit on the front. Oh, sorry, that's Gav. So Gav has come through. Oh, was it Gav? Yeah, Gav yeah. Uh, Bibby oh, is right. just here. But Gav was in the same spot as Bibby, so anyway, carry on. Sorry, I've got a, I've got a feeling that the um, the Python might be out next. <laughs> might be get tapped on the shoulder. <laughs> I think that is an absolutely horrible way to go. You pretty much know you're out, and then this man that you have no idea who he is comes up and taps you on the shoulder and tells you to stop pedalling. <laughs> well, he waits there for about ten seconds first, waiting for the camera to cut to him, <laughs> hovering with intent. Here it is. Here's my big moment. Yeah. Now, now, okay. Um, so yeah, but that's it. You've there he goes. Hey, you're out. The youngster, the pythons. Now, Do you know what? It's, it's weird to think that like Steve Young went out in the first round. That was like, whoa, that's a big name going out in the first round. But th they're all big names. <laughs> they're all big it, names. It wouldn't yeah. matter who who it, who it happened oh, to. Oh, that is a sad uh, moment for us all. Uh, more like a punch that than a tap. <laughs> <laughs> After he'd put in such a massive effort. <laughs> Bless him. And at that moment, pretty, their their nationals is it's not over really, but it pretty much is because the well, you know what they say still you can, and so cagey. You can't win it in the first race, but you can certainly lose it. And I think for both of mm -hmm. them, it was a long way back after that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we've got we've got the Madison Genesis boys here. We've got Cam still in there. Um, one of the um, Canyon riders now, and the All Star, which is Kim Little. Yeah. So 
with hugging it on cam. And, and as you can see here, this is a bit different to any other normal sort of scratch racing Zwift in that they're all dropping the numbers down. Um, Bibby's not, well, he's just, as I say that, he goes to seven watts per kilo. But you know what I mean? He, he because there's only one place you're going to get caught out. Um, yeah, as long as you stay with the group, yeah. And that's coming around in a minute. As long as you stayed with the group, you could just <clears> knock the pace off. And if everyone's knocking the pace off, um, then it's it's fine for everybody. It, it's kind of like the Laura Trot mentality of racing a, a, a devil, really, wasn't it? Where she'd just sit at the bike. Yeah, just do enough. Go easy, sprint, just do enough every time. But there you go, big numbers again coming from the sprint. No one wants to be left behind there. From everybody as well. So here we so are. And this is, yeah, this is a good good example. You're on the climb now, coming up towards the top, and Jeff is at the back. But the way in which Zwift drafting works is that he's likely to be reading in some way a draft off this guy, some draft off here, a draft off mm -hmm. there, a draft off that, and probably that's probably not far off five meters ahead. So Jeff is probably getting the biggest amount of draft. Um, mm -hmm. out of everybody and let's just so how does before you carry on how does the draft work does it is it is it almost like a bubble around them so my understanding and how I try to explain it to people is because you can't pick where you want to draft you have to assume mm -hmm. you're getting a draft off everyone you can see right because my instance of Zwift is going to be slightly different to, to Kim's who's slightly different to Moldy slightly different to Bibby's right whereas Bibby might be on the left hand side of Moldy on Kim's screen. He might be on the right hand side of Moldy because of the lag on my on screen. Someone else's screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so on this screen, which is currently watching Cam, Cam is here and Dempster is right in front of him and Kim is off to the right. But it, it could be a completely different machination. So how I understand right, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. just get behind as many people as possible and hope you're reading as much draft. Which is probably why blobs do go so fast. Because yeah. you've got everybody understanding that they're drafting everybody does that make sense i never knew that yeah 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 good point um so there's many point, instances of the draft <clears throat> so and here you go on so, Dempster, yeah? yeah this is you're on Dempster and he's if you look in the top right hand corner they're actually now going downhill so if you if you want to put a kick in this is probably where you want to do it and as you can see jeff oh, has put that kick through. in 14 watts per kilo and he just eases off and then boom so there you go you got jim was jim pim out there and kim yeah i think i think jim and kim were out <laughs> jim and, kim. <laughs> and kim has just sort of uh, accepted he's realized. before he's been tapped yeah. on the shoulder there that, that was the other thing i was wondering about is if it was a close one and with the lag and with the, the you, you know we've seen results in the his Super League, where you've clearly seen a ride across the line first, but they've been given second. It took quite a while to do that. They could potentially quit like this and then realise that actually they they weren't. Yeah, the you want to I mean, you want to stay on those pedals, I think. Yeah, they were taken from so, Swift Power, though. I think the the the, the eliminations, so they're they're as accurate right. as you can get. So yeah, it was it was dealer's well, not not dealer's choice. It was rider's choice, weren't it? Really, as to what bike you you went on. Um, Cam went on the the concept bike, as did I think that is that I can't tell if that's um, Moldy or Bibby that's on. It's Bibby. It'll be Bibby at the bike, yeah. So Bibby's on the concept bike. Dempster looks like he's on a Venge by the looks of it. Somebody was on a Zwift Carbon I saw earlier, or a Zwift Aero. I don't know the difference, but someone was on a Zwift bike, which uh, I don't know. I mean, that might be a rollover from. Um... The Kiss Super League, where they Super have to League, yeah. ride certain bikes. It'll be a stupid, um, stupid so, idea if, if, if you've not actually picked a better bike than that. If we just go back 10 seconds, I'm just going to replay it. And just oh, look, they're sorry. just starting <clears throat> up the top of the hill for the sprint here. Mm -hmm. And look at the numbers that we've got um, coming out of the appropriate riders. <laughs> I mean, is this Cam? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll have to ask him at some point. Is this Cam wanting to be at the back to come through the people? Potentially. Or are these people at the back just panicking? Um, and I think, as we play it on, we see him go to the back and then kick it up. And therefore, mm -hmm. he's going to be getting the amount, most amount of draft for when he does kick. 
Yeah. Takes it to silly numbers so again. You can see him there. And he just comes flying past through. Rinse again. Repeat yeah. from, the, from the second one. I didn't realise so, it went down that far. It's negative five it's, there. Yeah. It's a proper downhill. I mean, he does mm. ease up there. Um, which oh, he eased up been, a lot there. If he'd, be, if he'd been chucked there, then... He would have been annoyed at that. The, the Colnago would have gone halfway across <laughs> the, the BT Sports <laughs> studio. <laughs> So Dempster looks like he's out there. He's he's given up the ghost. Who was the other rider? We don't know yet. Uh, Moldy, I think. Well, let's let's wait to get that that tap confirmation, eh? Oh yeah, it's all about the tap. But he is a second behind now, Moldy. So you're down to four he's riders. Back 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 up, just in case. So there you go. You've got who have we got in there now? Bibby, um, Gav. Rip. See you later, mate. Rip, Gav. Good lad. Good effort. Nice bloke. Nice bloke. We've got James Phillips. Look there, see? Who's that? Moses on a Zwift. Is that a Zwift Aero? Zwift Carbon? Zwift Aero, I think. There Moldy goes John Mould. Didn't look good there, did he? he did. I don't think he looked good at all, did he? No, all, all, I think uh, he was, well, he was coming off 10 days of illness, but... So if we just pause it there, look at those efforts that they're going through. It's like blue and grey... And then, like skyscraper red. Red, yeah. There's, there's no point. There was no point trying to get away. There was no point pushing any more. It's even worse here. Look, there's, yeah. there's no even blue or green there. Bibby's at, at what was he at? One point six. What's a kilo there? Jesus. But it is it's just this is this is the best way to ride this. Save See, Bibby got a little bit dropped off there though. Oh, so. he did. I wonder if he had a drop out there. No. Didn't see it. See, what he could have done then is, is really kicked, dropped off, got a bit of draft, and just quite, gone for it. And just quite mixed a long it way up. off, though. Isn't it? But don't, yeah, but that, the, the, every time somebody else is out, the, the blob is getting smaller and smaller. So here we go. Here's the main, arguably the main talking point of the elimination. Oh, yeah. What's going to happen? Well, let's, just, let's just see what happens to the brightness of the yellow wheels. So how far are we out there? So Moses is a little bit dropped off the bat. Bibby is hanging back as well. And they're all just like 19 watts there from Cam. And then it goes Cam to stopped, zero. Really. And he drives to the other side of the road. And it's still zero. Put, Cam puts his hand up, as you can see. And it's still zero. And then it kicks back in. So he was not happy. Cam was not a happy bunny. But as we'll be able to see, it's a 2% hill here. And he's got 48 47 kilometers an hour and still putting out 546 watts mm -hmm. at 5.8 and he's sat back down so he thinks he's back in bibby 2.9 moses 2.3 phillips 1.7 they don't think that this sprint is going to kick off here they're going to wait until let's maybe say the barriers up here yeah that's where the hill properly starts and that's where we've seen the sprint going most of the time but Cam appears to have got a jump on all of them. And he gets back here. He takes it down to back down to three watts per kilo and then realises, well, hang on a minute, boys and girls. I don't know, what, what's that red number say there? I can't read that. It's absolutely tiny. I can't. And he's gone. A lot. And if you, if you look already, he's, he is at 1,100 watts, but he's a, two seconds after when I last paused it, he's already got, the 11 meters on Moses so he's already out mm. of the draft he's already faster and he just goes for it that would that was a very smart move from him that was a mature move <laughs> you're willing from to him. admit that are you Chris <laughs> yeah because I would have sat there and I think I don't know if they would have seen that and seen that drop out and just automatically gone he's dropped he's gone so there the only is thing only I will say face. what is the one thing I say to Cam more than ever Till it goes negative. This is a special shout out to Cam Jeffers. He's dropped <laughs> it back down to eight watts per kilo here. These boys are still pushing it out. That. <laughs> is not negative, Cameron Jeffers. <laughs> You've been told. So we should be still pressing on now. He should. And, and it's not much further. Look, that was it. That was all he had to go. 
and it would have had an effect. Arguably, he's got three seconds. He's up the road. He doesn't need to win. He needs to come in the top two. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bibby's given up there, but... um, I think that shook it all up, that did. I I, I think Bibby would have got through and Moses and and potentially Phillips would have gone out had it just come down to a straight-up sprint. But the way Cam just, it, it just, it, it got the rule book. He looked at it and then he just ripped it up and just chucked it away and went, I'm going. If we just go back a couple, um, I'm just going to try and see because the dynamic. Nah, Cameron thought he got a dropout, but it doesn't look like he got a dropout at any point. Who, Cam? Yeah, the you know. I'll ruin it, the result for everyone now. Moses goes away and wins this, and it's not even a sprint. Um, and Cam, Cam reckoned it was because he had a dropout. But it looks like... Um, because Moses had a dropout. No, so just after the start-finish line, I think Cam thought Sorry, he had wrong. a dropout, which meant right. Moses got over the top of him, got four or five seconds, and then, as you can see here, he just holds sort of 6.5 to take the win. Yeah. 